hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i stumbled on this application which has wowed me and i thought about it and i said that it would be a nice experience for me to try it out and see how it works though i've been able to use it and uh, it occurred to me and i said that i really want to put it out there so that people that do live stream either for churches for businesses for conferences and all that that you will definitely find this application or the software very useful and the good thing about this application is that you don't even need to do much because the way they built the smartphone app they made it in such a way that you can use your smartphone to go live and also using the software you can also connect your phone to the software for your phone to serve as the external camera it gives you the room to go live simultaneously on facebook youtube and other social media platforms that are supported with it so without wasting much of your time please i want to beg you do not skip any part of this video do well to follow through the process because this video is going to be in two segments one i will show you how you can use just the smartphone to go live then the second one i'll tell you how you can also pair your phone to the system software for you to use your smartphone as an external camera input and the good thing again is that you can even bring in as many cameras as possible that means using your phones to connect directly then mix with your system please again if you haven't subscribed to this channel do well to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of all the videos that will be putting out in future go over to google play store and download the prism live studio and here you can see connect that is the first one followed by live video and then the last one photo i'm going to tell you what these things do now the first one which is connect this connect is what helps you to be able to use your smartphone as an external camera to connect when you are making use of the pc that is a very nice one i'm going to still show you that in the course of this tutorial that is why i said do not skip for the second one which is live it is true here that you can go live either to facebook youtube and other social media platform that it supports then the third one is video what that means is that you can actually use this application as a video software to uh to do your filming and other things that has to do with uh visual storytelling then the last one is photo you can use it to take your photos there's one thing i would also like to let you know the good thing about this software or this application is that when you use it to go live at the end of your live stream it saves your videos for you right here in the app so that you don't need to bother about just going back to where you stream to it saves the original content here on the app and it also gives you room to also download that is if you have need for it to start off with we are going to set up this application for use so this is where you go over to you go here because i'm already logged in just simply come here and click on it and you are going to see certain options if you haven't been able to use this for the first time you will just log in with your email or other uh, profile that it will provide you here once you are done with that you have other settings that you can actually change here as you can see the first one says live setting so simply put once you click it you see stream destination what that means is that it's going to tell you the different destinations that you can stream to and among it is connect facebook connect youtube connect switch connect africa and some others but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can use facebook and youtube to go live concurrently now having set this you still come back here to where it says stream download quality what that means is that you have the ability to select the quality of your your stream so you may say that save in adjustable quality what that means is that while you are streaming it tends to weigh your network and then try to adjust it if you do not have a very strong network it will use itself to possibly make it align with it so that you don't uh, lose out on your feed then this one you also have the save in fixed quality what that means is not going to change your quality even if the network becomes bad you have to deal with it so the choice is yours to make and you have the opportunity of setting everything in place again you have the video resolution and you can see that you can stream 360p you can stream 480 
720, which is HD, and also you have the ability of even streaming up to 1080p, which is full HD. Once that is set, according to your desire, you come over to bitrate. I would just advise you leave it on this uh, default mode, which is 4,000 kilobytes per second. You can also check up other features as it is embedded here. So to stream to destination, simply come over to stream destination, come over to Facebook and connect your Facebook account to it. Once it's connected, this is what it looks like. Then come over to your YouTube and do same. Then this message pops up, which says Prism Live Studio wants to have access to your Google account. You just tell it to allow and instantly your YouTube account is imported directly to the app. For you to be able to go live, you come over to the live button that is beneath here and then you're going to see ready. Then on top of it, you see you see camera and screen. What that means is that you can either use your camera or you can even share your phone screen. Meaning that whatsoever you are doing on your phone is what will be displayed to it. It also gives you room for you to use your camera and still share your screen alongside while doing your live stream. So once you are done logging in your information and you are back to the live session, look at the top and you will see these three dots telling you the particular angle you are. If you swipe to the right, you are going to see the video only mode. You swipe to the left, you come back to the live mode, you swipe again, you are going to come to my studio. This my studio, you have the opportunity of bringing in media. So you can click on the media and import any of the resources that you wish to make use of. For you to be able to go live, you click on the ready. Then once that happens, it gives you the opportunity for you to run this. And that is putting in your information. Like if you want to stream to Facebook, you can impute your title and also if you want to stream to facebook and youtube at a time you click on it then you turn on the multi stream on turn it on then you have the opportunity of having the both of them to go live together once you come back you just click on your go live and instantly you are good to go so if this tutorial did help you do well to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell because we'll be bringing you more of this in the next in the next video where i will show you how you can use your smartphone as external camera and import it into the prism studio live pc software by this you can bring in as many cameras as possible just by making use of your smartphone so till i see you again do have a pleasant day